Hey guys, if you are willing to make this CSP Calculator camera card at home, then this tutorial is for you and you are in the right place. Today I am going to show you how to make this CSP Calculator camera card at home with some simple components and only your smartphone as a remote. So let's get started. So for the project I am using a 2 wheel car kit. You can also use a 4 wheel car kit. Attach the positive and negative wires to the motors like this. Then attach a switch like this to on off the car a FTDI programmer module a ESP32 cam module the LT918 motor driver shield and some jumpers now follow the circuit diagram to program your ESP32 cam to the required connections Here for the shorted GPIO on the ground you can use a jumper like this but I am using a jumper wire which is commonly available to all. Now open the spy car code and comment your module and comment down others. If you are using the same ESP32 cam module, don't do anything, leave it as it is. Now select the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password to which you will connect your ESP32 and your remote. Now select the options which I am selecting. In case of any programming errors, you can refer to my ESP32 cam programming error solve video which I have uploaded a week ago. I am putting it in my card section. After selecting the desired options, upload the code in order to program the ESP32 CAM module via the FTDI programmer module. Now open the serial monitor and select the board rate as 115200 board and make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected and after that press the reset button on the ESP32 CAM once and you will get the IP address. Note this IP address to connect to your ESP32 CAM module afterwards. Now follow the connections to build your ESP32 cam spy robo card. I am taking 5 volts from the L2988 module to power up my ESP32 cam.
make sure that the positive and negative connection of the motors on the motor driver shield are parallel on both the sides. I will use 3.7 volt 18650-1200 mAh lithium ion cells to power my car. Mounting to 3.7 volt cells on the battery holder will give 7.4 volts in total, which will connect to the motor driver shield to power it up. Connect the 7.4 volt positive wire to the 12 volt pin of the motor driver and the negative to the center. Make sure that your batteries are fully charged during the process otherwise you will not get exact 5 volts output from the motor driver shield to power up your ESP32 can and network connectivity problems will appear. After all the connections your car is ready for an action. Now open your smartphone, open your chrome browser and paste the link which you have copied from the uh, serial monitor and you are ready with your control buttons and your live surveillance. So thanks a lot for watching, have a nice time. This is the future. is the future. future human error